Thomas, uh, I've followed you for quite a while on LinkedIn. Uh, th that is an, a major uh, connection hub for you. It's a real networking environment that you've really uh, sewn into as an organization. Um, and, and just as a side note for those, we talk a lot about social media on this platform. For our nonprofit leaders, it's so important to understand you know, and the statistics I've used often, there's 103 major social networks out there. And there's seven major ones. And we get overwhelmed trying to post on everything because there's a value in everything. But when you make one really important, become really strong, and it, it really can mag magnify your impact in that conversation. And Deanna, I know you're on other social networks, but you've really turned LinkedIn into this real strength for your organization. And because of that, LinkedIn has a term they use that is an invitation only, uh, and it's comprised of a global collective of about 500 plus of the world's most foremost thinkers, leaders, and innovators, and you are invited into this group. Now, they call it the LinkedIn influencers, which is much bigger word and invitation than being an influencer on other social media platforms. It's a lot harder to get into. So I want to congratulate you on officially becoming a LinkedIn influencer. Well, thank you so much. And I, you know, big shout out to LinkedIn because they are incredibly thoughtful. I think, again, as you mentioned, there's so many different platforms and everybody does things a little bit differently. But what LinkedIn did and, you know, the process was really try to understand what is the message? What's different? Who is looking for it? Where are people really struggling? And so um, it is exciting, right, that, that we're able to fill that space. But it goes back to that same thing we were just talking about with the books. It's just this desire to learn from other people and to be able to share some of the tips and, and tools and things that we've seen to be really effective along the way. And since that's the main crux of what LinkedIn is trying to do, it, it makes the most sense for us, right? Right. It's aligned with who we are and how we show up and, and really how we want to make an impact. So it's a, just a perfect partnership. We're really excited about it. Now, I, out of curiosity, the LinkedIn has to have a certain profile. They're saying, if you're doing this, 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 we'll consider you, consider you and your profile to be an influencer. What are those items? Do you know off the top of your head? Yeah, you know, I don't know all of them and I can only speak from my from my own experience, but part of it is, are you present? You know, like I think that, it, like you mentioned, it's so hard to get, uh, you could be in a million different places and, you know, trying to do all of that, but are you really being present? And so one of the things that we made a commitment to do, not just myself as an individual, really as a team, is to make sure the things that we saw that could benefit and help other people grow, that we were helping call attention, that we were elevating other people, that we were really using it. We have a, a phrase inside of our organization that we say on a daily basis, and it's to give generously, give generously. And we found that we did that a lot on LinkedIn. So I think that's one of the things, right? Are you giving generously? Like that, that is the main motto of everything that we put onto LinkedIn, how we're thinking about it, how, who we elevate, all of that. I think a second thing, um, and so it's about showing up and giving generously. I think a second thing is really thinking about a thought leadership component. One of the things that we try to offer, especially as we think about diversity, equity, and inclusion, is a framework that really speaks to what it means to help an organization thrive. And there's a lot of wonderful people out there. Again, we do a lot of elevating, right? Like that's part of what we do, who are out there doing just fantastic, amazing work. You have academics, you have practitioners, you have just all these wonderful, wonderful people. And David, what we try to do is help people understand how to use all of that information. And like, we, we try to distill that information into something that's practical, right? That, 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 that can be something I could put into practice as I go back into work the next day, starting at nine, right? Like how I run my meetings, how I interface with my clients, how I interface with my, my colleagues. So we try to take all that information and distill it down. That's one distinguishing like thought leader component that I think is different about what we do. But the other thing is, is that we operate on joy. Like that is our, our operating system as an organization. And so I think another big thing that was a differentiator for LinkedIn in some ways was just not only what we're putting out, but also how we're doing it, right? We, we try to think about, it's the flying elephant analogy that you used. We try to think about the possibilities, not as the world as it is now, but really the world as it could be. Um, and that's another, I think, uh, thing that really, as we talked to LinkedIn and we kind of had these conversations going back and forth of whether or not this is going to be a good fit. I think that was one of the things that really resonated with that, uh, with that team. Wow. 